In this series, I'm gonna be crossing America by myself and sleeping in my car. Hey, 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 yeah, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Listen. Literally all up in the snow right now. I hop on these beats, leave them all deceased in the water deep seas. Wake up, then I repeat. I locked my keys in the trunk. So in these first clips, it starts off with me in Kentucky because I forgot to film. I did film a couple of Snapchats, which I'll pop up. In this case, I'm glad you're my peace of mind. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Alright, so it is currently 1.53 a.m. And I'm somewhere on the west end of Kentucky. I am going to be sleeping in my car in front of a Planet Fitness because apparently I've heard that they allow that. I am in a Toyota Corolla 2019. It's not the most spacious, but it's good on gas, so. I started in Virginia, all the way from Virginia Beach, so like the coast, drove through Nashville, everything, to where I'm at right now. This place is called Moduck, Mod Moduck, Kentucky. Now I wanna touch that sweet, sweet Pacific Ocean water, baby. Coast to coast. We are crossing the country. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my setup. See, see what I'm working with here. So back there, this is the rear windshield. I got these little like reflector things from AutoZone. And just these uh, towels that I got from Walmart for real cheap. And I got some Velcro from fucking Dollar General, Dollar Tree. The Velcro is cool because you don't even need the other side of the Velcro attached to the towels because they'll just stick to the Velcro regularly. And then I can use those towels. Let's see, I got some Velcro right here, right here, right here, and then one long strip right here. I got some right there too. This is the windshield. It's blocked off by more reflectors. You, you, you can kind of see a little bit right there. I'm not too sure if I'm worried about people gazing in through that, that little slit, I mean. Let me show you how I got my bed set up, okay? So, I got these little mattress toppers from Walmart and they came in these pre-made just bags, just like that. And they just fit perfectly in there. I don't know what you would even call that, but it's kind of just like a thin, I think it was called like a camping mat. Put it over top of the regular seat so it can cover up like the seat belts and uncomfortable stuff. And uh, I had some extra cause it was a little bit too long. So I cut some right there, put it right there. And I forgot my pillows at home. That was the one thing that I forgot. So I just went to Bucky's. By the way, I've never been to Bucky's. That first time going, amazing. They're uh, beep, 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 beep. They're, um, <laughs> their brisket, holy shit. Holy shite. That brisket was in insane dog insane i'm gonna be sleeping on good old what do they what do they call him chester i don't know what they call him right he's a beaver i'm sleeping on the beaver dog the last thing i'm gonna do is set up this sleeping bag that i got because there's kind of like a, a slant to this seat hopefully that sleeping bag will even out the the slant that we got going on here i believe it is below freezing last time i checked it was 31 degrees but it's pretty warm in the car. I got the sleeping bag, so I'll be all right. Um, real quick, I'll go ahead and show you. Ah! Almost dropped it. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the temperature. So you can see I'm not lying. I don't know if you see that, but it says 30 degrees. And I'm camping in my car in a Planet Fitness parking lot. I'm gonna set up the sleeping bag. Going to Planet Fitness, wash my hands, take my contacts out, brush my teeth, do all that good stuff. Got the sleeping bag set up, so what it looks like. Not very spacious back here, but I actually sleep in a little fetal position. So I'm actually just gonna sleep like a goddamn baby tonight. I drove 800 miles, 12 hours, and I am pooped. I guess I'll see you in the morning when I wake up and I gotta make some coffee and eat some breakfast. And I'm back on the road. Catch y'all tomorrow. Be easy. Love you. Hate you. Don't know you. Want to know you. Might get to know you. But you got to get to know me. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> All right. What's up, y'all? It is currently 8.19 in the morning. Let's see the temperature. I think it got into the 20s last night. 
yeah right now it's 23 degrees but you know what i actually stayed pretty uh pretty warm in here i didn't have to turn on the heat or anything that sleeping bag kept me really warm they get back on the road so i have another 12 hours to go and after then we're gonna be like right in the middle of america it's just me and myself and my acoustic guitar my skateboard i just got all showered up and fresh brush my teeth in the planet fitness it's actually really nice in there i thought it was gonna be like kind of but it was really it was pretty nice and for it was 25 bucks a month a, a month worth of showers like i think that's a, a really good fucking deal and they're open 24 hours and they let you sleep outside i mean it's shit is just meant for people to fucking camp right i just got the thing set up Basically, this little thing right there in the middle, it's got the coffee grounds in it, it's got the water, and it boils, and it'll come out through this top part right there. This is what my breakfast is going to be. What did he say? Breakfast! It's going to be consisting of today. I got a little banana. These are cheap. Oop. I got these little protein yogurts. These are also very cheap. And yeah, I'm going to eat this, drink that coffee, get on the road, get to Oklahoma before it gets too late. It's already gonna be late when I get there now that I'm thinking about it. But I'll cross that road when we get there. Thanks for coming along with this journey with me. Nah, I fucked it up. Thanks for coming along this journey with me. Coffee's brewing. Look at that. Oh my god. I cannot tell you how good that feels. It's cold as a motherfucker out here. Bro. <laughs> Planet. Planet Fitness parking lot for the fucking win, dude. Kentucky will always have a special place in my heart. And in my mind, just finished making my coffee. Got to clean up, get together this interior real quick. And then we're heading out, dude. I got to hurry up because it's getting late already. I'm going to already be late, so it's fucking freezing. Holy shit. All right, I'm getting ready to leave. I just took a shit at Taco Bell. I just want to show you guys something real quick, though. Fucking disgusting. My car is, bro. Wish you could see it on the actual pan that I pass. Look at that. Oh my god. Yo, this shit is nasty as fuck. Don't ever drop through snow. Pour out many weeks on billboard. Top 10 like 44. Uh, yo, that shit goes stupid. Right now, I just passed through, um, what was it? Illinois. And then I just made it to Missouri. Passed through those two states. The scenery is a. Uh, Drop y'all whole life like that. The scenery's in. Look how disgusting my fucking window is. Yeah, other than that, I'll catch y'all on the flip side, let you know if anything changes. So, um, Oklahoma bound, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> I've just been pretty chill. I mean, through, uh, when I passed through Illinois, Illinois, is that how you say it? Illinois? Illa Illinois. It's just real boring, real farmland. And same thing with the front end, the first part of Missouri. But then after a little bit, it started turning mountainous. I didn't know, I didn't know Missouri had mountains. Like, look, this is all this, all these hills and shit. Look, little rock formations right there. This is cool, you know? I'm having a great motherfucking time. Well, there's not been like any crazy traffic recently. I stopped a couple times to eat some food. Someone's calling me. I'm just gonna like, ignore that for a second. Just been munching on these after I ate my breakfast. This has been holding me over. Tex-Mex trail mix, it's really, it's really good. But I know that all the stuff that's in like peanuts and um, I think it has like pumpkin seeds and stuff, it's like all good for you. In the middle of America, I can't believe I've already made it this far in about two days. So uh, anything interesting happens, I'll update you. But right now, it's a lot later in the night, later in the day. Driving through Kansas, near the border of Oklahoma, kind of weaving in between the two. I'm almost there, I got about 250 miles left. It's been a journey. Soon here, I'm just gonna start to slow down a little bit. So try to smell the roses a little bit, but some of these cities I've passed through, it's like, there's not really much entirely to see there. I almost hit a deer. He was like about to jump into the road and I like stepped on my brake a little bit. I guess it scared him away. But he literally, I saw the look in his eyes. He was about to cross the road. I was like, oh shit. But there's these lights over here. I want to show you them. They look kind of crazy. Damn, I think the camera has been blurry, huh? Why didn't you tell me? Wow, look at that. Okay. But anyways, 
Look at these lights, dude. Boom, right there. What is that? Man, if any of y'all know what that is, let me know because it, it just looks kind of crazy. That's about the most interesting thing going around here in Kansas. Anyways, I literally was on a brick road in Kansas. I was like, dude, is this the, is it, am I in the Wizard of Oz? Like, th is this real life? Like, there's no way. And I went to this gas station. I'm, I'll pop a clip up. Went to this gas station and there was like a cricket inside of the pump. <laughs> and it just was so funny. And like, the gas was pumping really slow and I didn't know what was coming. Man, I'm gonna sleep like an angel in like a real bed, bro. Oof. And I get to just rest tomorrow and hang out with the fam. This is the plan. Let's get it. Kansas, Oklahoma. Random uh, thought just popped into my head too. I don't know if y'all have these on your rear view mirrors, but I'll just show you real quick. You see that little knob at the bottom? So I guess if someone's lights are too bright, you can flip it, then it blocks out their lights and makes them dim. How does that work, bro? Because I, like there's not like another mirror or like a reflection because I still see it. I don't know uh, what the science is behind it. If anyone, if you all know, uh, <laughs> just comment it. Let me know because science. I don't know where I'm at. Might be Oklahoma, might be Kansas, but they got these little uh, Christmas lights and stuff. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. Man, this is just so beautiful. <clears throat> Sketchy as fuck. Look at the rocks, though. Just getting no mountain rocks, bro. Look at this view, man. I just can't get over it. Especially we're on the ice. Like, we're far. <laughs> Uh, we can't go back to what we used to have Put up on my dash, I don't want that Never want you back Sometimes when I really think about that But honestly, you were the worst thing that ever happened to me Back on Chick's Beach when I used to live